How to get food when the world has ended. No stores, no soil, just bottles, dirty water, and maybe a rotting salad from a fridge that died weeks ago. Welcome to post-apocalyptic hydroponics. Grab a plastic bottle. Cut it in half like you're performing surgery on civilization's leftovers. Flip the top into the bottom, capside down. Boom. Instant planter. Jam a wick, a shoelace, or a strip of your shirt through the hole so it can suck water up like a desperate addict. Now the soil. Except, no soil. Stuff it with moss, foam, or hell, even toilet paper. Seeds, anything that looks remotely alive. Dry peas, lentils, old cumin seeds, or whatever you scrape out of moldy store veggies. If it sprouts, congratulations, it's dinner. Fill the bottom half with water, drop in a little ash tea or yeah, urine if you're out of options. Put it in the sun, wait, survive. Seven days, sprouts. Two weeks, actual food. The world may have ended, but photosynthesis didn't get the memo. Trash, science, and a little stubborn hope, your new grocery store.